It's time for the Quarantine Cup Series. Are you ready, Stevie? I'm ready. Let's go right to the action. Race number one, the Junior Solid Class, and here they go. Off to a quick start. Everybody across the bridge safely. Looks like Orange going a little slowly, and Pink just goes right off the track. Blue's in the lead. Here comes Green and Yellow to follow. Looks like Blue and Green are going to use that little shortcut that just got added. And I don't think green made it all the way through that shortcut. Orange is not in a hurry today, Randy. Nope, but they're not really being followed by anyone, and they're just going to go ahead and stop right there and let yellow finish. Take a look at the standings. Two finishers. And let's go to the second race for the Junior Solid Cup. They're off. Yellow bounced out. Across the bridge and down the straightaway into the split. It looks like Pink has a commanding lead as they mm -hmm. go into the tunnel. Purple bringing up second. And it looks like Blue and Orange will stall out in the split. Here comes Purple through the tunnel. Looks like Pink didn't finish and Purple what? is going to go right around him for the lead. Mm. I know a lot of Pink fans are not going to be happy about that. But let's take a look at the standings after two races. And next, we're going to go to the solid color class. Looks like everyone across the bridge safely with a lot of bouncing around. They slow down around that corner. There's a lot of contact, and it looks like pink is out to a lead, but they slow down quickly. Must have been something in the roadway there. Must have been. Anyway, pink through the tunnel, and here comes green following. Looks like Orange bringing up third. Ooh, green tried to take the shortcut. Twice now, Team Green has tried to go for the shortcut. And it didn't quite work out. Mm -hmm. And Orange isn't going to finish. Only one finisher. Bummer. Mm, let's see if they can do better on the next race. Let's head back up to the top for the second heat of the solid colors. Down the ramp and across the bridge. Looks like Green got held up back there. And Orange goes off the side around the corner. Into the split. It looks like Red has the lead. But they're slowing down quite a bit. Quite a lot of bit. Red pulling ahead now. Blue and yellow following close behind. Pink needs to pick it up if they want to stay in this. Like yellow's pulling away from blue. Red will cross in first. Then yellow, blue to follow, and slowly coming up in fourth will be pink. There she is. And here are the standings after the third race and the overall standings through three. Now let's go to the exotic medium ball class, and there they go. A lot of them are going off the track mm -hmm. early, it looks like, Stevie. Blue's in the lead. Yeah, blue sky going pretty quickly through the course with not a lot of competition. Not at all. And it looks like one of the clear twin balls, I believe that's the blue one, is going to come in second here. Wow, what a quick race. That was quick with only two finishers. Here's how they all finished, and here's how they are after two races. Let's go back to the top. And here they go for their second race. Once again, a lot of them not able to stay on course through that first turn there. And it looks like pink and blue pursue, followed by one of the clear balls. I believe that's purple this time, and blue sky following in third. Pink and blue finish quite fast on that one, and... There's the clear. There's the clear one. I believe that's the purple. It might be the blue. It looks like clear blue on the standings, but they're on the same team, so really it doesn't matter at all. Now we'll go to the small exotic ball as they take off. A lot of bouncing around. Looks like only four of them are going to make it across the bridge. Pink Lemonade, it looks like, is in front. Chester Cheeto's teammate following behind, and they're both slow. Pink is... Pink oh. Lemonade stopped. Chester Cheeto helps it through. There's and Willie? Yep, yeah, blocks Purple Willie from going through. So they'll keep Willie in third. As Only those, one finisher? One finisher. And the top two on the same team. Good race by Sugar Swirl. Here's how they stand after the second race. And here they go for the second heat. Simon looks like a little better going across the bridge, but a lot of bouncing around in that corner there. Love out to an early lead. And it looks like they Coming got up stuck. At the tunnel. Yep. And here come five more following. 
Lava's still stuck. Burning a hole in the ground there. What oh, just man. happened? We got a quick pass in. Purple Willy up on the shortcut. What? He's going to take the lead. No way. Going from third to first in that victory. It looks like Chester Cheeto. And Lava in third, and Rasta in fourth. I think Pink Lemonade got held up there at the split for the shortcut. Got stuck in the rough. Here's how they stand after three races. Now let's go to the large ball class. Only two races left, and they're off. They like keep better control around that corner than the smaller ones they do. They really do. It looks like Blue and Mary Catherine Gallagher have gone off track, and a Red Rainbow stalled up there a little bit. Oh, some people taking the shortcut. Looks like Hippy Dippy in first, orange and green. That was a quick finish. Let's take a look at their standings after this race and after the two races combined. And for the last race, large ball. Looks like all but one of them across the bridge. And orange in an early lead, but slows down a lot around that corner. Into the tunnel, Mary Catherine Gallagher in second, Hippy Dippy in third, Green in fourth. Orange, orange across the finish. Followed by Mary Catherine Gallagher, Green, and in the same order, Hippy Dippy. Four finishers. Here's how it ended up. Let's take a look at how they are doing after three races. That's their standings for the large ball. Now the team standings, you can see in first is Green. And for the individuals, Purple Willie at the top with 22 points.